All right, our high school football coverage begins with the first ever meeting between the two schools, two of the three that is located in Vail. We start with Empire High School, which was founded back in 2005, and Micah Mountain, just two years old. Nothing as we go to Vail for Empire at Micah Mountain. Nothing to be salty about if you're a Micah Mountain fan tonight. The student section into it. We pick it up in the second quarter, already 28-0 Thunderbolts. Jaden Thorson to Xavier Johnson, who zigzags his way in. Micah Mountain wins. Final score, 48-6 in this one. All right, let's go to Class 5A for Mountain View in Tucson and bring in uh, Brianna Isbell. Brianna, you were at Gridley Stadium tonight. Yes, two teams with losing records, but a lot to play for. And that's because it's the start of Class 5 Southern Division play. What better way to start than with our evening weather anchor, Kyler Diggs and his wife Maggie under the Gridley Stadium lights, supporting their son and the rest of the Badgers. The Mountain Lions wasted no time getting on the board, opening drive the Mountain Lions with a big play on defense. Defensive back Angel Rodriguez Martinez intercepts it, running all the way into the end zone for a pick six. Mountain View takes the lead 7-0. Then after a field goal and a safety scoring every which way, the Lions leave 12 to nothing. Later in the first quarterback, running back Steven Manembe takes the handoff, dodges the Badger traffic, finding his way into the end zone for a 15 yard rushing touchdown, bringing the Mountain Lion lead 19 to nothing. The Mo Mountain Lions up 19 to three in the second quarter. Badger quarterback Devin Newman with the last minute decision to run it and boy, did he make the right call. Ripping away from the Mount Lion defense, running it clear down the field for an 89-yard rushing touchdown. Okay, yes, I know some of my best camera work right there. That cuts the Mountain View lead to 19-10. Mountain Lions hang on to win 45-17. In their last three games, Mountain View has scored 42, 49, and 45 points. Their offense is clicking. Talk about consistency. Two teams who also play in the five class, the five, the class five Southern Division, Buena at Sienega. Yeah, to Vail we go, by the way, Brianna, I thought your videography was fine. <laughs> uh, Bobcats uh, with a bounce in their step tonight, taking on a Colts team that made the trip from Sierra Vista. All right, no score in the first quarter. On the punt return, this is the Colts, Elias Diaz. Makes one defender miss, then cuts to the sideline, and he is going to return this one deep in Bobcat territory, and that sets up this. Andres Padillas takes the handoff and takes it in for the touchdown, but Sienega comes back to win in a big way. Bobcats take it over the Colts, 49-19. Let's go down to Saurita for the Mustangs, hosting Rio Rico. Saurita looking for its first win of the season. Rio Rico trying to get back to 500. Lots of pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Opening drive, fourth and goal for the Hawks. What's legendary coach Jeff Skurin going to call? How about a QB keeper? Andres Lopez around the left side for the touchdown. Rio Rico goes on to win 27-7. The Hawks improve their record to 3-3 three three on the season. All right, close by, Walden Grove High School. The Red Wolves hosting Saguaro. 7-0 Red Wolves in the first. Looking for more, but check out the play by Cougars defensive back Trayson Birch. He caught that at the goal line. That means this could be a 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. There he goes. It is a pick six. Walden Grove wins. Final score, though, 39-20. It's the Red Wolves. Don't look so sad. They came back and won. All right, finish it up with Ampai and Catalina Foothills. The Panthers looking to make it two wins in a row. We like the marching band. The Foothills offense was in rhythm. The Falcons. Off and running from the start. Early first quarter, already 7-0 Foothills. Sam Delgado on the carry. He's got more cuts than a deli counter. He breaks it uh, nearly for a touchdown, 35-yard gain. But that sets up this on the very next play. Dane White gets the ball and gets around the corner for the touchdown. It will be that kind of night for the Falcons, who go on to win big over Saguaro. Final score, 49-26. And Brianna